A dating app and some lying got an Indiana teenager put on the sex registry. Um, so apparently the story goes, Zach Anderson met a girl on a dating app, hotornot.com, and she said she was 17. But after they had sex, it was revealed that she was lying about her age and she was 14. And due to the nature of the sex registry laws and sex offender laws in Indiana, um, he was put on the sex registry alongside rapists and, and, and people who do a lot worse. And there's nothing he can really do about it uh, without a lengthy appeals process. I will also add that the judge, Dennis Wiley, who sentenced Zach, said he was angry that Zach had used the internet to meet a girl. He said, that seems to be part of our culture now. Meet, have sex, hook up, sayonara. Totally inappropriate behavior. There is no excuse for this whatsoever. So this guy, he's, he's a sex criminal because the girl he was doing it with lied. Thoughts? So the biggest problem with this story is not only is a 19-year-old going to have his life ruined based on a 14-year-old girl who lied to him yeah. about her age. And by the way, she went to court with her mother and they both testified in front of the judge that she had lied about her age. Mm -hmm. Okay, But it doesn't matter. Even though she lied, um, that's not an excusable defense uh, by the judge. So anyway... Wiley has an issue with hookup culture. That's the real issue here. And yeah. he's taking it out on a 19-year-old. He has to be on the sex offender registry for 25 years. He is going to serve 90 days in jail, five years of probation, and he's forbidden from using a smartphone or a computer for the rest of his life. His life is ruined. This, Yeah. And this points out there's two things. One, it's possible that they can, as a result of this very case, change the sex offender laws. Unfortunately, in our society, something that a lot of us look at and go, oh my God, that's just wrong. It just takes this lengthy appeals process and people's lives getting ruined, even though, I mean, it's the it's a criminal court versus a civil court. There would be no civil case because these people would never bring that charge. But even though these people say like, we all agree that this shouldn't be the case, though on the one hand, it mm -hmm. takes that much time to change laws in America. On the second hand, Judges, it matters what judge you have. You get a judge like this and j elected judges, mm -hmm. you vote for these people and no one does it. No one votes for judges. You need to research what the judges are that are up for election in your area and you need to like do some research or else this kind of weird stuff can happen. Yeah. You can get a remnant of oh, an old way of thinking. Any guy who says sayonara, who does that anymore? I was I was fighting back in Korea yeah. before I picked it up. And those Chinamen in Korea were saying sayonara. <laughs> like that kind of stuff. I mean, what do you think, Haas? It's I don't know. I everything Anna said I I like I stand by. It's ridiculous that this fucking corn chucker piece of shit old <laughs> Bag judge can just ruin a fucking kid's life because he's like, oh, these kids are fucking each other nowadays on dating apps, and I don't like it. It's like you can't just. I mean, technically, actually, now that I think about it, no judges do this shit all the time. Look at fucking Antonin Scalia. If he can sit on the Supreme Court and and um, use the slippery slope ar slope argument for gay against gay marriage, then a fucking shitty, you know. Court, um, court in Indiana, like this judge who's probably the king of his own like domain there, can do whatever the f he wants. I'm just thankful that we have media and like social media and these things get brought up so that now this is not just another kid whose life is just ruined for no reason. Like you said, this might potentially change uh, some uh, the legal procedures around issues like this. Right. Another, there's other states where this isn't the law. There's other states where you know people have the ability to say. Listen, this is a specific case. We're not going to do it. There's some states where 14 is legal, so who knows? Yeah. Um, but this this is crazy. What, should there be any punishment at all? Maybe community service or something, because he did sleep with a minor, even though he was lied to. But even that makes me feel. What if you guys? What if he was dating the minor? Like he didn't have a couple. Like he didn't have a You have to have a men's ray. You have to 
mindset. You had to have the intent yeah. to break the law. Yeah, yeah. I just, yeah, you, you guys are right. You guys I are right. I mean, he it's was ridiculous. lied to. If anything, the 14-year-old should face some sort of punishment. She's the one who went on a dating no, app the dating for app adults. Sure. But, but here's the thing. How is the dating app going to check the identification of every single person that uses it? It's nearly impossible to do that. And if, if they were at the point where they could check stuff like that, I right. would say that it would, what do they need, my social security number? I'm not willing to give them all that That's information. That's exactly right. They'd be in hot water for privacy violations. It's, look, honestly, it's the 14-year-old. I'm not saying criminalize her. I'm not saying put her behind bars. But she's the one who lied. She right. lied to him. She went to court. She even wrote an apology to the parents. And she said, look, I'm sorry that you guys are going through this. I wish I was the one going through this. Which is huge of her yeah. to do. And yeah. that, I mean, that's also what you're hitting, what you're talking about is that's the whole reason we classify minors differently. Is yeah. in complex moral situations, they are more likely to do something that's that's wrong than people who are older and should be held responsible. So all this problem that she started, I mean, logically by how we write the laws, it's we could say it's because she's a minor. She didn't do it, you know, any better. Um, and he's 19. Yeah. You know, you see all these stories where it's like the teacher was 28 and went, you know, praying. Those guys throw throw them on a registry. No matter how much that girl was hitting on you, you got to say no. Look, you just cannot dilute the sex offender registry with people like Anderson or people who were urinating publicly. Right now, there are 13 states in the U.S. that will put someone on the sex offender registry if they're caught urinating publicly. Yeah. And how ridiculous times, is that? It's not one it depends time. on the state. Two of the states um, specify that you have to urinate in front of a minor for it to be considered a sex crime. Mm -hmm. The other states, it, it really varies. It could be a few times. It could be the first time you're caught by a cop urinating in public. It's, it's even, crazy. It's even worse when they tell you they're 17 and then you pee in front of them. Yeah. Or Kelly. Um, wow. Sorry about that, everybody. That was my fault for taking it in that direction. Um, what do you guys think? Is this okay? Is this not okay? Uh, what's right? What's wrong in this situation? Give us your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.